Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, children of the night. We love you out there in YouTuber land. This is your hippy dippy painter man. And we're going to do something completely different tonight. We're going to do an open cut pour, and our mixture on our mix is completely different than we normally do. This is uh, the most recent video from Tammy Anderson. Inspired by Tammy Anderson, Tammy Anderson used this mix today, and it looked absolutely gorgeous. So, sit right back and enjoy the Fred and Ethel Show. Again, we're doing an open cup pour. I'm going to show you how to make your open cups out of a simple 12 ounce cup. We're going to take this here cup, and we're going to take this hook knife, kitchen knife, you know, and we're going to stick a little hole in it right there, about halfway up that clear plastic. See that? Then we're going to go through the other side. I'm just going to walk to meet myself all the way around there. Now we're going to go to this side. Go ahead and put it like that. And I'm going to go around again and walk to meet myself. And there you got a reasonably, it ain't perfect. Uh, I'm going to take a pair of scissors. But I'm going to go ahead and go to this. You got these are lined. We'll go ahead and take the scissors and go to that first line right there. And trim around it again. There you go. And now we got it reasonably straight across there. Got it reasonably straight across there. We got that height. Then I am going to set them on the cut edge now. I'm not. I'm sitting mine on the other edge. I hear you, Ethel. Just do yours different than mine. We said the Fred and Ethel show because in our last one, I don't know if any of y'all saw that little six minute burger we did. Boy, we were back and forth, back and forth. It was like old Fred and Ethel on uh, I Love Lucy. All right, now, colors. We're gonna be using, she has decided, we decided about our own colors on this, boys and girls. She is using golden quinacridone nickel azo gold mixed with pebio gold to give you this lovely gold color. Ain't that pretty? She's also using Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Peacock Pearl to give her this color. Ain't that pretty? Put that over there. And Golden Teal Blue Lagoon for this color. And Amsterdam Prussian Blue to give her this color. Alright. On my side, I am using Lucas Krill Studio Arctic, which gives me this pretty pastel color. And I am using Lucas Krill Studio Lavender, which gives me this pretty pastel color. And I am using golden iridescent copper fine which we got this a while back and it was closed up and I cannot believe boys and girls that we have not used this color because look at that oh my god so pretty and I am using my very favorite color the beautiful blood red bordeaux from Aztec gives me this color so that's my sign basically I'm doing hot and pastel, and she's doing cool and blue. And we're both going to be using Artist Loft White. We're both going to be doing half and half on that. Now, for our base, we have used Artist Loft Black. That's it right there. Now, we're just going to do a puddle for that. That's not going to be no crazy base, okay? Now, our mixing media. Here's where it goes crazy. Told you about that show we watched earlier today and how we were inspired. What she did was, she mixed equal parts of Aussie Flow Troll 
American flow troll, an OA troll, and a half a part of a Liquitex pouring medium. This stuff here for those of y'all that aren't familiar. All right, and mix that all together. Now that sounds like a crazy combination, okay? Thin it with water if she needed to. That is what she used as her pouring medium. Now let me tell you folks, I doubt we'll be as successful because Pendulux always in, it's always bad. But she got webbing. She got peacock cells. She got uh, pearl cells. She got boulders. All of that in one painting. It was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. So that's what we're gonna hope we get using these. Shout out to Tammy. Shout out to Tammy Anderson. Tammy. You're the girl, and it looked absolutely awesome. And that's what inspired us to do this. Cross your fingers and toes, y'all. I hope this comes out good. We will see. See what the hippy dippy painter man and the jungle cat can do. Jungle cat. Yeah, you're the jungle cat now. They're fierce. Yeah. Well, on that other pair of paint we did the other day, you used quite fierce. Yeah. Fierce nothing. All my stuff got destroyed. Well, all of yours was left on. Well, I kind of got that reputation. Yeah, you do. All right. Here we go. This should be fine. A little puddle over here for her. Then I have to put her cup down in. One over here for me. Just big enough to put my cup down in. Save the rest for later. And we're going to save the rest for if we need extender. Let me put my cup down in here. All right, you do your thing and I'll do mine. We'll see who comes out on the top <laughs> or the bottom or whatever. I'm gonna start out with this little spin here. On mine, I'm gonna start off with the Bordeaux Red. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. About half of it, really. All right, she started with the Prussian Blue, it looks like. I really appreciate you guys joining us on the Good Art Express that we do every week. If you missed anybody before me, please go back and, uh, and visit them. Uh, you know, you got Taslima Maya at Taslima Maya Art. You got uh, uh, Venom at uh, uh, Venom Fluid Art. Uh, you got Bubbles at Venom Fluid Art. You got Christy at Creations by Christy. You got Shan B at Shan B Fluid Arts. And I think that's everybody this week. If I left anybody out, I'm truly sorry. Um, when I get done with this and get ready to load it up, I will have the um, uh, links in my description, I hope. I missed getting them in there last week. And what she's doing now, she's going to go ahead and lift up that cup without letting anybody know what she's doing, because that's what she does. And uh, take it over there. Go ahead and do the same. I'm going to do this very slowly, folks. We're going to lift slightly, turn and drop. See where you've got more white than I do? Lift slightly, turn and drop. See that? Lift slightly, turn and drop. Lift slightly, drop. Lift slightly, turn and drop. And we're going to put our extra right there on the corner just because it's fun to do. Now you can save these cups and use them again for another open cup pour. Just let them dry and peel them off. Let them dry and peel them off. Which last time I forgot to do that, and that's why I had to go through the trouble of cutting it this time. Now we're going to go ahead and hit this with a flame right quick. Help that bring out any cells that may be in there. Go across there. Stop burning. Now. I'm going to start this off by tilting a little bit towards Cat, just to try and bring Do the... Do not lose that. Actually, let's go ahead and put some... Uh, she is absolutely right there. See, you can agree with your spouse. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of extender around this. I don't know that we have a whole lot left, but we're going to go ahead and put it around it on her side in order to keep those gorgeous cells we have. And you actually got a little bit there that's not going to roll over, so we're going to pick it up there. We're going to go right over here and get on this one. Get all these beautiful tiny little cells. And we're gonna get some right here, of course, because those are gorgeous. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it anyway, but we're gonna, gonna give her a shot, try not to run over it. A little bit right here. All right, I'm gonna try and save a little bit of that for corners, but probably won't be enough. So, since most of the paint is over here, we're gonna go that way first. Just a little, keep a good eye on that. And stop. Then we're gonna come back this way a little towards here. And stop. Then we're gonna go that way towards her corner a little bit. And stop. Then we're gonna come back this way a bit. And then go this way towards my corner a little bit. And stop. Come back towards the center again, and we're gonna go that way towards that color corner. Just a bit, and stop. All right, hey guys, camera stopped. The memory card was full. We've been going through here, scroller here, scroller here. We're we're doing a few adjustments here. Is what we're doing, and. Uh, Like I said, I hope you didn't miss much of it because we sure love what we got here. All right. Now we're gonna come back towards her corner a little bit there because, because we are missing. I don't wanna give up a lot of mine and she don't wanna give up a lot of hers. So we're gonna try and be fair about this. Let her have half the canvas. And me have half of it. House paint. We're going to put that black house paint on the corners. I put it on your corner. That's where I'm going. I hope it'll move. Oh, it's moving. Moving right off. Stop. Well, we're going my way, son. Put some on my corner. I hope it hadn't dried up a bunch because we had to, uh, had to stop and delete stuff off of the camera and get that started again so lesson, you folks can see what we're doing. Lesson learned there, huh? Yep, we have lesson learned there. We will pay more attention to how much we've got on that memory card next time. All right, here I come towards my end. Hold on. And we're coming back towards that side. No, 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 no,
All right, we're gonna go this way first. these sides Aww. and we're gonna go this way. You've got two thirds. Now, Cover those sides. Now I'm happy. Of course you are. You got a two thirds. Now we're gonna go back towards your <laughs> way. <laughs> we sound like little children. And there you go. Yeah. This is how we're gonna finish it. You got more here, you have more there. I'm gonna wipe off my hands we will start embellishing. We have lots of paint off the canvas, I think. We put a ton of paint on there, too. And I've lost 90% of those gorgeous, gorgeous cells that I had, as you can see over here. And as usual, even though all the paints were mixed the same and we used the same amount of canvas to start off with, this Gabby still has almost all of her cells because she made sure to make me jump every time and go, wait, stop in the middle of me pouring. <laughs> anyway. Still, I think there's too much on the canvas. Well, I, I, there may be, but I am not taking no more off of it. That's what you said last time, and that was a mistake. On your side? It was a mistake, period. All right, we're gonna go ahead and some more embellishments here. Make her look fancy. Come in this side again. I'm gonna come from this little spot here in. Ooh, I like the way I spread that in there. That looks pretty. And we're gonna go in here. And again, I am using the side of the tool on purpose. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to pull up from underneath the paints that are underneath. I don't want to, if you don't want to blend in your underpaints and your overpaints, use just the tip. But if you want to bring your underpaints up, which is what I'm attempting to do here, and use the side. See, that gives you a little bit right there. I learned that little move from the king of swirlies. That would be the Mr. Wombat. You'll see him in this beautiful brother, brother. brother Darren, also known. You'll see him in his beautiful collab. Hopefully you've already seen him in this collab, but if not, you can go back and check him out. He's amazing. And he is the king of swirls, dude. This guy can make his paintings look absolutely amazing with a swirler. Now I'm trying to, like I said, now I'm, you notice now I'm holding it like this, straight up and down. Because I didn't want to get nothing from the underside on that one. Straight up and down and you get just the paint that's on the top. Hold your tool with a little edge to it, then you pull up the bottom too. bringing a little echo effect, a little water ripple echo effect in right here. Just thought that would be cute. Look at that. See that ripple, ripple effect we did there? I think that's pretty neat. And I think I'm going to do another one over here going back the other direction. I'm going to start right in here. Pull it down. See how that gives you like a, an effect like it's water and it's rippling a little bit? Once again, we have this wonderful orchestra of the cell phone <laughs> in the background. That was yours, Mama. Yes, it was mine this time. Generally, it is Miss Cat's cell phone that loses its mind in the middle of us doing paintings. Not this time. Go one more this direction. This time I'm going to the side. There we go. So I wanted to pull that out of there and try and bring it into that one. There we are. Now, what else do I want to do over here? I'm going to pull a little bit of this red into this black. A little red and a little white with it. 
pull this one down in there. And a little bit right here. They really don't go together. I think they do. I think they're absolutely gorgeous together. You don't think the colors match up? No, hell no, they don't match up. Contrasting, just like me and you. Yeah, good, they should be contrasting. Like oil and water. Well, darling, I'll tell you what, you show me a couple that never argues, and I'll show you divorce paperwork. Because <laughs> if you hold it in, it's kind of like a fart. Eventually, you're going to explode. Just saying. Let's go on and argue with each other a little bit. And that's the hippie's marriage advice. Sure is. If you're fussing and cussing, then you're not leaving. Just saying. All right, this little area right here, I don't like. So we're gonna try to do something here. I'll bring us around here, and back down there, and out that way. Now, we're gonna come up, go ahead and come into this little ghost cell area, just a bit. And we're gonna bring down through there. There we go. Man, I can dig that. Just beautiful. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad you took all that white away from me because I'm happier without it. Yeah, and I wish I hadn't taken quite so much white away from me because I'm go. not as happy with it. There you go. Yeah. And I wish I hadn't put quite so much red in it, but really, the red's kind of groovy too, man. I can deal. I can definitely deal. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fire my side again. You might fire yours if you don't want to. I got some little freckle cells here. I got this to this uh, copper over here to open up a little bit right in there. I got some freckle cells there, 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 there. The Cunag took over on my side, and the, red, yep. and the red took over on your side. Yep. Should have used less. Less is more. I dig it, man. I dig it. It's cold. When it dries, it's gonna be cold. It's got a great hot and cold going on there, as far as you know, like a fire and ice type of thing. I like it. I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you at the Hippy Dippy family. We'd love to have you in our little express train family. And uh until we see you again, same b -b black time, same b -b black channel. Peace out. Goodbye. Okay, guys and gals, we did go back in afterwards, and boom, here's what we had. We went ahead and put in a little bit of gold on my side in places and a little bit of blue on her side, did some further embellishment. Hope you like the final results. We love you. We care about you. You good people out there, take care of yourselves, and we will see you next time.